Hi, I'm Amanda from Present Mindfulness Academy and this month we're talking about unmet needs. And so I wanted to share with you, uh, I guess, some an awareness around why your children behave the way they do. And this could be, you know, they're upset, they're yelling, they're throwing toys, uh, numerous things, a numerous behavior that we don't find enjoyable. And one of the concepts that we've come to realize is that our children behave in certain ways because they have an unmet need. And what that means is, is they're feeling maybe lonely or they're feeling hungry, they're feeling tired, they're feeling angry about something and they don't know how to express or understand that because their brain is not fully developed. And so what happens is, is because they've got this uncomfortable feeling within them, because there's a need of theirs that hasn't been met, the only way they know how to express it is physically through their body, sometimes verbally, um, but not with coherent sentences. It'll be yelling or screaming or, you know, no, it's nonsensical. It doesn't make sense when they're trying to explain something to you because their brain has not fully matured yet. And because their brain's not fully matured yet, they don't have the language, which is a high functioning portion part of the brain to express what's going on for them. So if we can, I guess, look at our children from a different perspective and see when their behavior that is unbecoming, behavior that we're not enjoying, is actually a communication to us, a, a signal to say, there is something going on for my child, an unmet need is here, what can I do to fill that need or find what that unmet need is to help them understand why they're behaving the way they are and so that then they can start getting language around that and building um, the idea that it's okay to feel this way and now I understand what it is now I know how to find a solution for this unmet need so for example you know I know that um, Sometimes my teenage daughter, she'll be really cranky after school and a bit snappy. And I know now she has an unmet need of she's hungry. And when I when she has food, then she's like, oh, I'm sorry, mum, I didn't mean to yell or get cranky. I was just really hungry. So she's now starting to become aware of that also because I'm letting her know, oh, I can see that you're hungry and it's not okay to speak like that. Let's get you something to eat. And so it's not that you're saying that you're accepting the behavior of what they're doing. It's that you're understanding it, you're feeling that need, and then you're talking about that with them to say that, okay, I understand that you're hungry, but it's not okay to lash out. Let's find some better ways. As soon as you start feeling that way, then that's your trigger to say, oh, I've got an unmet need, I'm hungry, let me go and eat something. Obviously with younger children, that's going to be much harder to do that. So as your job, as their emotional coach and their parent, you need to start, start, I guess, monitoring their behavior and saying, oh, okay, when they cry in this way, or they do this with their, with their, with their hands, or, you know, there's signals, then I understand that there's that they're hungry or that they're tired or that they're feeling lonely. They want some time with me. And if you can start reading those signals and you can start meeting those needs, then you'll start noticing that behavior will start dissipating and it won't um, become a uh, 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 at the forefront of everything that's happening because you'll notice it straight away you won't get overwhelmed by it and lose it you'll go oh I can see what's going on here let me give them food let me give them a cuddle or whatever it is they need so that that the situation then returns back to normal much quicker so I encourage you to start really trying to interpret what is hiding under your child's behavior and see if you can connect with them find that unmet need help them because we don't want to just be filling that for them we want to give them this the skills to understand it for themselves and to fulfill their unmet needs too so we're guiding and mentoring them in that way and then hopefully you will see some changes 
Anyway, I will see you again next month. So remember to share the gift of mindfulness. Be present. Bye.